Today, we, the students of the Vinod Gupta School of Management, IIT Kharagpur, had the privilege of hosting Mr. Pushkar Gokhale, Vice President, Head B2B at Godrej and Boyce Manufacturing Company Limited. We had a really enlightening session today, and now we would like to ask you a few questions relevant to the current trends of tomorrow. Shall we proceed, sir? Yeah, please. What are some effective strategies for standing out and getting noticed in a good way? So, standing out, uh, look at it, I would take this question more from an individual perspective right now. So, that is something which is more relevant for you all. Uh, so, see, one can stand out in different ways. But one of the most effective ways one can really do it is by taking initiative. Because... You know, that's one very good way of showing that, yes, you have ideas, you have the depth of thought and of course you have those communication skills to really effectively communicate those ideas. And if you do that, you will definitely stand out. That is one aspect. The second aspect is if you are actually suggesting an idea, you should not just abruptly leave it. You should carry it to its logical conclusion. And how you can do that is by involving the other stakeholders in the organization who will also come to know that yes, here is a man who can actually, you know, is full of ideas, who also has execution capability, who can involve people. Because in an organization, it's all about a team. Any idea, yes, you can be the uh, person who's coming up with that idea. But unless it is actually taken it to the execution stage, where you will need a lot of people with you really you know take that idea and make that happen you will never succeed so that's the other area where you have to talk to your internal stakeholders internal customers give them that confidence take them into confidence and then move ahead so that's that's the mantra for standing out that is one of the mantras and of course one should be you know should not get into or venture into any notorious things to stand out you know, one could stand out that way also. So, one has to be really cautious about it. That was a really an insightful answer, sir. Second, how can we tap the potential that is available in rural India or Bharat and help make the lives better? Yeah, so, see, today if you look at it, you know, Bharat is probably much more important than India. Or rather, the rural market is much more important and very big. Provided... You can understand the needs and expectations of that market because those are very different than the urban market. And for that, there is nothing to beat an immersion kind of exercise. Because see, if you go there and just you know do a very, very superficial kind of a survey or a feedback, you will never get to the depth of what the market is like or what the needs of rural India are. For that, you should have a very long-term kind of immersion session which will unfold a lot of things for you. And from there, you can actually understand the needs and expectations of that market and then work on a solution. Because see, ultimately, uh, what matters is what is the kind of value you are adding to those people in, the, in, in, in Bharat. And for that, you need to first create value. To create value, you should first know what are the needs and expectations. Only then can you deliver it. So, you have to build it into multiple parts. You know, first, you understand what they need. Then you create value. Then the other aspect is the communication. See, the way in which you communicate in the urban market and the way you will communicate in a rural India are very different. So, the moment you immerse yourself, you will also find out as what is the most effective way of communicating with them. Because just creating value is not going to help you to communicate that you have that value. And then the last aspect is how do you deliver it. So unless you immerse yourself, you will not learn these final aspects. Otherwise you will just say, okay, this is what the market needs. But you will never be able to execute it the way in which it is required. Thank you for the answer, sir. And finally, uh, what message would you like to give to the budding managers of the country? So, one message which I would like to give to the budding managers is that they have to ask themselves one question. Whether they are in this game for a short 
all moral law law. And that will actually give them the answers. But one thing is very important if you are into this game called law law is the value system which you form. Because today it has become extremely important to follow that value system because we are seeing what is happening in the current environment. You, know, you have so many cases which are coming up now. And it's just, you know, greed which is actually, you know, resulting into all this. Lack of integrity, you know, lack of value system. And that's something which is very important for a budding manager to hold himself and ensure that he always follows integrity, honesty, good value system. And that's the only way he can succeed in the long term. Because otherwise he will, he may succeed, you know, following or cutting short certain, uh, you know, compromising on the values. He can succeed, but that will not last for long. The only way for a sustainable growth, sustainable career is following the value system. And get aligned with what the company, because every company today has a certain value system. The question is, how do you align yourself with that? And I'm sure you will be successful. Thank you, sir. God bless. Thank you, sir. For leading your answer. It was a really insightful session today, sir. And we thank you for taking your time out and interacting with us. Thank you, sir. It's my pleasure. All the very best.